Oh no. I just dropped my DJI Osmo Pocket. I dropped it onto concrete. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't look good. Oh, come to me, my baby. Oh, look what's happened. But, oh, look at this. Oh, let's see if it survives. Oh, it is absolutely the worst thing I could have done to my DJI Osmo Pocket. Hello, I'm Neil. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm taking a guess that if you search for this, I'm going to put it in the description, how to clip the back panel back on to a DJI Osmo Pocket is the question that you're asking. And I'm going to show you how I did it and some of the things that you might want to bear in mind and I'm going to do this in real time where possible so you can actually see how it works for me. If the back panel has fallen off of your Osmo Pocket, I'm so sorry <laughs> and I can't believe I did it. It was the stupidest thing because I've actually got a cage for my Osmo Pocket. It's brilliant. It's a Polar Pro cage and I'll, I'll show you that at the end of this video you'll see all of the steps that I took to avoid this ever happening again. I just put it in my top pocket and I bent down to pick up my bag and it fell out <laughs> and I just heard it go crack. What I was really pleased about was that there didn't seem to be damage to the gimbal or the lens and again I'm going to show you ways to avoid that after I've clipped the back back on. Here you can see my problem where the Osmo Pocket hit the ground the back panel cracked off it, it, it unclipped i didn't know if it was broken i didn't know if it was irreparable i did not want to switch on my osmo pocket until i'd got this back panel back on but the the gimbal as you can see there seems seem to move there weren't any scratches on the screen or the lens so i was really grateful for that i'm so lucky but i didn't know what to do with this back panel or back cover I just couldn't find anything anywhere where someone had encountered this problem before. I took it to work and as soon as I got into work I went into a toilet cubicle. I've got really nice toilets at the uh, at the place I was working. I set up my phone to video the, the problem and to, to video in real time my attempts to clip the back cover on. I've had problems before with back covers on smartphones where they, they clip on as you can see, we've got lugs and notches for these, these lugs to clip onto. And what I really didn't want to happen was to push down on the cover and to bend those pins, to bend those latches. So I was worried that I was going to permanently damage it if I hadn't already permanently damaged it. So in the video, I'm giving a thumbs up now. So I tried gently pushing and as you can hear, they snapped in really well, but these last two lugs at the end, I'll play this footage again, they didn't seem to want to latch. So the trick is with your back cover is to gently push down the latch at the very end and do that first. You can hear it click and then you can hear the satisfying clicks from the final two latches clonking into place. So that's how you clip it back on. My advice to you, your damage might be different, but I'm going to play this again. My advice to you is to push down the clip at the very end, which is at the very bottom of your DJI Osmo Pocket, and then do the side latches immediately above that. So I checked my camera. It, it felt like it was okay, but this was the moment of truth. Fingers crossed. I've decided to take the plunge and just hit that power button and see what happens. Yes, and even the selfie mode works. <laughs> you can see me celebrating now, I'm so pleased. But you can hear everything in these toilet, bathroom, restroom cubicles. So <laughs> I did a little celebration gig in complete silence. So I wanted to scream the floor down because I was, I thought I'd completely wrecked my camera and it was so dumb. I'm going to show you all the gear that I have shut down safely. So this is how to protect your phone. This is the cage that I got. It's a Polar Pro tripod mount for the Osmo Pocket. I've got a link in the description. It's uh, an Amazon link. But to put it into the cage, you've got to take out the adapter that you clip your 
phone onto then you slide it into the cage here's a tip someone showed me you can actually clip the phone attachment the other way and that makes for a really sleek setup so that's how i usually travel with the osmo pocket the cage it would have oh, if i had it on it would have protected the back cover <laughs> that's past me I, i'm so grateful look <laughs> And I'm trying to encourage you to put a cage on your Osmo Pocket uh, to protect it. I've got some other things to show you as well, though, because I've been saving up my screen protector. So this is a screen protector that I have bought. Make some, here's some other details on the back. So I'm going to shut up now and let myself do so this all. So is... If I put this onto this, well, I've got to put it on, but will it clash with the Polar Pro cage here? So anyway, let's take the Osmo out. Let's switch to decaf. Ah, that's nice. Well, a lot of wipes. It's such a tiny device. Get some dust absorbers, quite a few of those. So that's for the screen, and they're rigid. And you get two spares as well. Although, I don't plan on doing it twice. Give it a little wipe wipe. But I don't know how to hold the lens so that it stays in place. I guess like that. And then, we'll get the dry wipe. Now, I know some people do this in the bathroom to avoid any dust getting in, but I think we're going to be okay for dust. Plus, we've got spares as well, which is good to try again if I mess it up, the dust absorber. And these always come with guide stickers, but it's the same as the dust absorber, so I'll just, I'll just use this. I think I'm going to do that one first, because it looks harder. So let's have a look, just to see what kind of tolerance we've got either side. Not much, it's going to be pretty exact. So small, this is really difficult. There we go. Press it down, there's no bubbles because it's tempered glass, it's really rigid. I think that's it. God, that was easy. Okay, so next it's the main screen. Oh, I wish I had something to hold it. Of course, I'm doing it behind a camera as well, which really, truly doesn't help. So usually with tempered glass, you get them on both sides. With this, you just get this adhesive strip. That's the only one. And then it goes down on the side that you peel off. Again, it's a really snug fit. Let's get the dust absorber. Let's take any dust off. Can't see any. Get the screen protector. Peel off. Which side is this side? So make sure it's that way round. It's really fiddly. There you go. I think that landed correctly. And then push it down. There's a big bubble, which will hopefully disappear with one push. There, it's gone. Wow, that looks great. There's a couple of things we need to test. The first is, does the touch screen, is that affected by it? So switch it on. Let's see how sensitive it is. Yep, yeah, I'm not pressing very hard at all, but the screen still works. Yep, yeah, that feels good. And then the next thing to check is, does it go into the cage okay? Now I had this problem with my GoPro where it couldn't go in an aluminium case very easily. So, slide it in, and it goes in without a problem at all. There's a lot of clearance there anyway, I don't know if you can see. So it's totally nowhere near the cage. It is now a bit more protected. So that is how you fully protect a DJI Osmo Pocket. Leave a comment below, it would be lovely to hear from you. And if you're wondering whether or not my Osmo Pocket survived and what it looks like with the screen protector on after it's had the back cover smashed off well i'm shooting on it right now <laughs> everything's good i've not had any problems i've been using the cage and the 
screen protector now for about two weeks and I've, I've shot a lot of material on it. Look, I took a fall on one of my videos. <laughs> I took a fall, actually fell over and managed to keep the camera off the ground. But I've not had any problems with the touch screen at all. It would be lovely to know that somebody somewhere reached this point of the video. Why not give me a thumbs up just to let me know. And if you're feeling even kinder, why not hit the subscribe button? You don't have to watch any of my videos ever again, but every subscription is really appreciated and helps me to carry on doing this. I hope to see your DJI Osmo Pocket videos too. Leave them in the comments below. Show me, show me what you're doing with this camera. I love vlogging with it. It's so good. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye. How was that?